How is it going everyone, it is OG Tech here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to disable Windows Defender completely and select a good antivirus for your PC. So let's get into the video. So why do you need to disable Windows Defender? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Windows Defender frequently generates a high number of false positives and can be a major performance drain on the system, especially for low-end systems. The main reason for high CPU usage is the anti-malware service executable. It provides a real-time scan on your PC and performs a background system scan. If you already have a professional antivirus program, it makes no sense to keep Microsoft Defender. Windows Defender is a good enough option for basic antivirus protection. But it isn't perfect, and its malware detection rates and extra features aren't as good as third-party antiviruses. Before we get started, I'll show you my Windows Security and Task Manager, which shows that Windows Defender is currently active on the computer. First, you need to download the file link given below in the description. After you download the file, extract it and open the file. I also provide a file to enable Windows Defender if you want to. Now go to the Disable file and double-click on Disable UAC. After that, you must restart your computer for it to take effect and then return here. Now double click on disable smart screen, click yes and then click ok. After that, drag the disable windows defender registry file over power run, click yes and then click ok. Now you need to restart your PC once more for the changes to take effect. After you've done that, go to your task manager and you can see the anti-malware executable is completely gone. You can also check it on windows settings. This works with both windows 10 and 11 defender. Now what if you want to re-enable Windows Defender? Simply navigate to the pack and go to the Enable Windows Defender. Here, you just need to do the same exact thing that we did to disable Windows. Double-click on Enable UAC and restart your system. Then, double-click on Smart Screen and drag the Disable Windows Defender registry file over Power Run. After you've done that, restart your PC and you will now be good to go. Now we'll talk about antiviruses. So, if you're going to use an antivirus program, never do these things. Do not install multiple antivirus programs and do not download free antivirus software. It's terrible to download free antivirus softwares, because many of them will give away your privacy by uploading the URLs you visit. Additionally, free antivirus softwares will overload you with pop-up ads and upsells for a massive internet security suite that will only slow down your computer. Use Microsoft Defender if you don't want to spend any money on antiviruses. The cloud protection it offers is respectable, and Windows already includes it. It has minimal system effect and acceptable detection rates. Anyway, here is my recommended antivirus softwares to use. When considering antivirus software, the most important factors to consider are system impact, history, and detection rates. Both of these antivirus programs have a detection rate of over 99.9% .9 and have won awards. Both offers a 30-day free trial to test them out before buying the program. I'll show you now the AZAT Internet Security Program, its features, and performance. AZAT Anti-Malware Scanner, guards against ransomware, Trojans, spyware, and rootkits. It also includes some additional features like device control, gamer mode, webcam protection, banking and payment security in a secure browser, you can see that Azat has very little passive performance, which is really good. The memory is only about 82 megabytes. Also, Azat scans were lightweight, and I didn't notice any system slowdown during scanning. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. See you guys in the next video.